Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create Tecla modeling, single pod drawings and assembly drawings for column with simple base plate just like this. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with US environment. Now we're going to create columns. So click on steel and select this column and click on here to create column like this. Now right click on interrupt. Double click on this column. Now we're going to edit this column profile. So you can see by default we have the W16 by 50. If you want to change then click on here. Let's take W16 by 45. Then click on apply OK. Now we're going to change top level. Let's take 15 feet and bottom level 0. Then click on modify to see the result here. Just like this. Now close this window. Now we're going to create base plate for this column. So go to application components by using the shortcut Ctrl F. In search bar, type 1042. Now select this base plate and pick the column as a mate part and pick the position at here. Now we have the base plate at this location. So close this window, right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse UW. Now we're going to edit this base plate. So double click on this base plate and zoom it here. Now we're going to change the base plate thickness. So go to parse tab in parse, let's take here one inch. Now click on modify. Now go to anchor rod tab. In the anchor rod, so we can change the rod profile if you require. By default, we have rod 3 by 4 inch. Let's take here 5 by 8 inch. Then click on apply OK. Similarly, we're going to change nut profile and washer profile. So click on here. Let's take 5 by 8 inch nut and washer also we need to take 5 by 8 inch washer. Then click on apply OK. Now click on modify to see the result here. You can see now we have 5 by 8 inch anchor rod and nut and washer profile. By default we have the grout here with the thickness 3 by 4 inch. If you don't require then make it 0 then click on modify. Now we don't have any grout at this location. Okay, now go to both step. In both you can control number of anchors at this location. So for example we are going to take the bolt size uh, same as anchor rod and tolerance is the 5 by 16. Now we're going to change the edge distance at this location. So let's take here edge distance 2 inch and number of anchors we require 3 in lengthwise. So you can see and the spacing we're going to take here 4 inch then click on modify. You can see now we have like this 1, 2, 3 rows. Ok, now I'm going to change the spacing here. Let's take here 6 inch, then click on modify. I need to take 7 inch, then click on modify. Like this. And better to take 6 inch and the spacing 3 inch, edge distance, click on modify. Like this. You can see, now 3 inch indicates the edge distance from board to edge of this plate. And this 3 indicates the number of rows vertically like this. 1, 2, 3 and the 6 inch indicates the spacing between these two anchors. Now coming to the width wise in this direction you can see use the shortcut click on space use the shortcut control 2 for shaded view you can see in width wise we have two rows here and the edge distance we are going to take here 4 inch let's take 2 inch and the number of rows bolts you can see one two and the spacing between these bolts let's take four inch then click on modify you can see now here like this now click on modify apply ok double click on this base plate go to anchor step if you want to change the anchor rod length or the band or radius or anything you can change from here the projection and the anything we have at this location you can see this is the total length of this anchor we have 1 feet 4 inch if you want to change you can change from this option and this is the thread length you can see from top of anchors to at this location we have 4 inch thread length if you want to change you can change from here and this is the projection from top of base plate to anchor edge we have 2 and a half inch if you want to change you can change from this location then click on modify apply ok click on space right click on mouse dw you can see now we have completed modeling uh, for this simple column with the base plate. 
now we're going to create single part drawings before that we need to create numbering so click on this drawings and reports and click on here perform numbering and then you need to click on this number modified objects you can see now numbering completed successfully now we need to create single part drawing so use the shortcut control 4 for render view for this column now click on this column then right click on mouse create drawings and click on single part drawing you can see one drawing created successfully for this single part drawing now we're going to create base plate single part drawing also so we need to click on this option select object in component then only you can select this base plate in the component so click on this base plate then right click on mouse create drawing and create single part drawing now one drawing created successfully so now we have two single part drawings to check the single part drawings you need to click on this drawings and reports then click on document manager you will get like this you can see now we have two drawings here c1 and bp1 this type or w w indicates a single part drawings otherwise you can click on here single part drawing then you'll get only the single part drawings in the list okay now we're going to open this column so double click on this column in the drawing list now close this window here now you can see now we have single part drawing for this column like this you can see now we have profile and the total length of this part so now now we need to create part mark so click on this part right click on mouse add mark and click on apply part mark you can see now we have c1 double click on this part mark you can see in this list under the element in mark it should be part position then close this window and you'll get like this this part number is the c1 and the total length is 14 feet 11 inch and the profile is w16 by 45 you can see now we have the bill of material here c1 and the profile and the grade is a992 and the quantity one and the length is 14 feet 11 inches and the area is 10677 you can see now we have the total information at this location here now we're going to save this drawing so use the shortcut ctrl s and save it now close this window to close this drawing now click on this document manager now we're going to open base plate drawing you can see now we have bp1 so double click on this bp1 now close this window at here you can see now we have the base plate like this with the dimensions now can adjust this dimension so click on here and make it here and click on here and drag it like this now we have the whole size here so click on here and drag it like this now we have the length edge distances for this whole dimension and the total width of this plate now we're going to create the part mark for this base plate so click on this part and right click on mouse add mark and apply you can see now we have the part mark so use a shortcut shift and the left mouse key and you can drag here and use only the left key to adjust the position of this part mark just click on it and adjust the part mark position like this okay this is a drawing sheet if you want to increase the scale of the, this base plate drawing then you can see at the border we have this for this drawing now double click on this border now we have the scale here 1 by 12 if you want to increase then we need to oh let's take 1 by 6 then click on modify you can see now drawing is increased like this then click on apply ok and close it you can see you can adjust this part marks now like this just click on it and use the left mouse key to adjust the position if you want to shift the part mark then hold the shift and use the left mouse key to shift the position like this with the arrow okay if you want to create this dimension at this location so click on this and delete this dimension if you want to create this side then click on here and drag it now click on this dimensioning and click on this vertical dimension and click on here edge distance and pick the second point here third point at here and fourth point at this location and use the scroll button 
press the scroll button to place the dimension like this now click on escape I can see now I have the dimension like this now click on this dimension you can use the left mouse key to adjust the position of this dimension like this similarly if you want to create this dimension at the bottom then click on here and delete this dimension now click on it and drag it here now I'm going to create the dimension at this location so select this horizontal dimension and pick the first point here and pick the second point and third and fourth and end point at here and press the scroll button to place the dimension like this now right click on mouse interrupt now I'm going to adjust the spacing uh, for this part mark so click on it and hold the shift key and left mouse key to adjust the position of it like this now I'm going to adjust this position with the left mouse key like this okay if you want to adjust this drawing position for this in the drawing sheet then click on this border of this drawing then drag it to adjust the spacing in the drawing like this okay now we have the dimensions for this hole and whole diameter size whole size we have the whole size here and the part mark here bp1 this bp1 also in the bill of material we have like this bp1 and this is the size and the grade and quantity and length and area and everything in this drawing okay use the shortcut control s for save it now close this window here okay now we're going to create assembly drawing for this column with the base plate so click on this column then right click on mouse create drawing and click on assembly drawing you can see at the bottom one drawing created successfully so go to the drawing list so click on this drawings and reports and click on this drawings manager now currently we are in single part drawing so for assembly drawing you need to click on this assembly drawing you can see now we have the drawing part mark number c1 and the type should be a a indicates the assembly drawing and in the single part drawing w indicates the single part drawings so click on this assembly drawing and to open this drawing double click on this list now close this window here now we have the assembly drawing like this in this assembly drawing we have the total length of this assembly here so click on here and you can adjust drag and adjust the position of this dimension so click on here and adjust this dimension also like this for the level of this column zero level and this is the 15 feet level of this column and the total length is 15 feet now coming to here the section we have like this this is the by default generated section here if you want to create the section you can create or from section so click on this view and you can use this section view for creating this type of section okay by default we have the section now we're going to adjust this section so click on it and use the left mouse key to adjust the position of this section and vertically like this now coming to here now we have the dimensions now we're going to adjust this dimension so click on it and drag it here or here like this and click on here and drag it like this similarly we're going to drag this dimension at here to place like this now I have the whole dimension like this and this is the part mark for this base plate if you want to create with arrow then double click on this, this part mark and go to the general and you need to click on here and select this arrow option then click on modify you can see now we have with the arrow option like this then click on modify apply ok now click on here and place it like this and hold the shift key to change the position of this part mark like this with arrow okay click on this window border of this section so you can adjust the position of this section like this and use the left mouse key to change the position like this okay now i'm going to create the part mark for this column so select this column then right click on mouse add mark and apply part mark now click on here and place it here double click on this part mark to make sure you should be part position in the part mark so close this window and similarly we're going to create the base plate part mark uh, in this view so click on this base plate right click on mouse add mark and apply it now click on here and drag it here you can see now we have the part mark for this base plate like this 
So double click on this base plate part mark. You can see it should be part position. You can see now this column and base plate should be welded. So now go to generate the welding symbol at this location. So go to annotation and click on this weld mark and pick the first position here or here. It should be snap symbol at this location. If you don't get the snap symbol, you need to activate this option. Snap to nearest point, then you will get the snap symbol here you can see. Click on here and pick the second point at here to create the welding symbol like this. This is a single part weld, but we require around weld. So double click on this welding symbol. Now click on here. You can see now by default you have the single part. So click on here and use this around weld then click on modify if you want to change the weld size you can change from here by default we have 3 by 16 if you want to increase or reduce as per your standards you can change from this option if you want to change this uh, welding type then click on here and here we have a lot of welding symbols uh, as per your requirement you can change from this list okay currently we record around weld so click on modify apply okay just like this uh, about this drawing material list we have at this location bill of material list you can see now we have this uh, part c1 and bp1 our assembly number is the c1 here you can see one column with the c1 like this now we have the position of this column also you can see in the grid location 3 by way and the bottom level should be 0 inches according to the modeling okay that's it then use the shortcut control s for save this model of this drawing now close this window okay that's it about how to create column with base plate modeling single part drawings as, and assembly drawings in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this video is might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you